guys, welcome to Praise and This channel. I'm Tanya. And I'm Sean. Today we are going to talk about a house book registration. So, what is the house book or Tabian Ban? Well, the Tabian Ban is the local government's official issue of your address, the house or condo that you're staying, or the resident registration. Now, this is not proof of ownership. You can't use it as proof of ownership, but it can be used as proof that you are legally uh, residing in a house or a condo in Thailand. In Thailand, we have two types of Tabian Ban or house booklets. Number one is for Thai citizens. This one called Toro 14. And the other one is the yellow one. This is for foreigner who is living in Thailand. Uh, this is called Toro 13. Okay, and why should we have a book registration? If you have a book registration, it's like a proof for your identity in Thailand. Um, they will later put your name and address print in this book. And this book does not expire. And uh, when you have this book, you can also have the PIN ID card. This is a U4. So it can be the R certificate and you don't need to use another official certificate to do many legal registration in Thailand. Yeah. Such as driving license or you're registering a company, applying for a line of credit, so there's a lot of stuff here, transfer of ownership, yeah. of real estate, applying for new electricity or telephone connection, all these things become a lot easier when you actually have a yellow book. And also in a COVID situation, you can register for vaccine too. Now before you register for your yellow book, it's very important you first check in with your local municipality, as each municipality might have a different set of documents that they require. Just to give you an example, normally you would require two witnesses. Uh, because of the COVID situation though, we got lucky and we didn't need to have any witnesses present on the day. Yeah, and um, if they require two witnesses, you have to let the witnesses bring their ID card and to be in with them as well. They may ask a few questions to check that uh, you are living in that place. Okay, and now let's see what are basic documents that you have to prepare. Okay, now the first documents that you require would be a passport, a certified passport from your local embassy, as well as a translated copy of the passport. Now the translation is sometimes a lengthy process because the translation office will send you back and forth each time uh, just to fix certain sentences or certain uh, terminology that they may have used or gotten wrong. You have to get approval at an MFA and the problem is with them that they don't let you pass easily. But, but sometimes you can get a uh, one-time pass depends on your translator, so hire a professional one. Uh, there are two branches of MFA that you can go in Zangwatana or MRT Hongdori. I mentioned about that in our first video about the MFA certification. You can check it, I will give a link in the description. Okay, and you also need the resident certificate that you will get it from an immigration. So the owner of the house have to register your name at an immigration. The owner have to bring their house booklet in a book one with the copy. Now, with the certificate of residence you also need your marriage or divorce certificate depending on the situation as well as your work permit if you do have one. Yeah and if you're born in Thailand you have to bring your birth certification with you as well. Only if you are born in Thailand. Yeah and if you have an alien ID card you have to show them that proof and if you already bought the place, you have to be an original purchase agreement. If you lend that place, you have to be an original contract with you. With that, you also need four 1.5 inch photos with a straight face, so no smiling. And uh, you also need two to three photos of the outside of the house, the inside of the house, all the residents of the house, including the owner. You also need proof of the relationship between you and the owner, so if it is a marriage, a marriage marriage certificates, photos. If you're renting the condo, you need the rental contract that you, uh, yeah, the signed rental contract between you and the owner. Uh, and if you plan to use that place to be a company, you need an approved in government asset. So how do you apply for the yellow book? Firstly, you need to get your passport certified. If you already have a copy, a certified copy of your passport that is not older than six months, 
you can use that one. Anything older than six months will automatically be rejected. Secondly, you need a translated copy of your passport and it's best to do it after you've already gotten your passport certified because they look at the stamps, uh, they look at all the terminology used and as we said before, it's a very lengthy process because the MFA is really strict about these things. So they might send you back and forth a few times before they are happy with the translation. To save yourself some time, hire a professional translator, even if you have to pay a little bit more to get it done. Normally it costs 500 more per page and these professional translators, they have a certified translation with them. Um, also, they will change it without charging more. Okay, and the last step is submitting our documents at Ampere. So you can bring this thing to the course that Ampere or the street that's near your place. Okay, so once you've submitted all the completed documents, they will ask you a series of questions. Personal information, blood type, your job, the names of your parents, where you were born, the city, the state, a lot of personal information. So please uh, have all of that at hand just in case they throw it at you. Yeah, and then they finish, you get a booklet. And um, after you have a booklet, you can make a pink ID card that you can carry along without using the passport. Wow. And this is also quite useful because sometimes you may be charged less for certain things because you've got the pink ID card. Okay guys, I hope this video is useful and if you like it, please give us support by click like and subscribe button. Good luck if you guys are applying for the yellow book and the pink card. I hope it goes really, really quickly. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.